Welcome to Grace Design. In this video, we're going to take a brief tour of the web UI for the M908. The UI was introduced as part of the 908's version 2 firmware update, and it allows you to control all of the normal operational functions of the 908, as well as giving you easy access to all of the system setup and configuration parameters. The UI and the hardware RCU can operate simultaneously, and the UI works just as well on an iPad or an iPhone for additional operational flexibility. The home screen should look familiar. It's all the same controls that you see on the M908 hardware remote, with a couple of minor differences. Most notably, the volume knob has been replaced with a pair of slider controls, which we chose because they simply work better in a software environment. There's one for the speaker volume and one for the headphone volume. Clicking on one or the other will activate that monitoring source and allow you to control your speaker or headphone volume. This is the same as pushing the volume knob on the RCU to switch between headphones and speakers. The speaker window shows the currently selected speaker system, with icons representing each speaker in the system. These icons show signal level activity of each speaker by flashing green, yellow, or red, depending on the signal level. Below the speaker window, you have displays for your current sample rate, clock source, and lock status. Up at the top right is access to the dim, mono, crossfeed, mute, left minus right, and monitor to cue buttons. Under those are the control room speaker selector buttons. Next, we have the solo mute controls and direct access to the three pages for larger monitoring systems. There's not enough room on the M908 RCU for 24 individual buttons to control the maximum possible number of speaker channels, so there are three pages of solo mute switches. There will be more discussion of solo mute functionality in another video in this series. Below solo mute are the three user buttons, which can be configured for various functions. Along the bottom, there are all of the 16 available input select buttons. Finally, up here in the upper right corner are your home, edit, settings, and login icons. So far, we've just looked at the home page. The edit page is how we're going to dive deeper into the functionality of this UI. As you can see, the whole M908 configuration is accessed by these menus on the left, which we'll go through in more detail in other videos. Settings allows you to name your 908 for the browser tab, choose a color theme, turn confirmation dialogs on and off, choose between list and tile view for room EQ settings, and lock or unlock the control screen. The logout icon sends you back to the login screen for the UI. Last but not least, in the upper left, you'll see the unit name and a green connected icon. Clicking the unit name brings you back to the home page. In order to use the UI, you'll need to update to the latest version of the firmware and have your 908 connected to the net or directly to your control computer. We have another video titled M908 Web UI Network Setup with details on this process. For a deeper dive into the M908 UI, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.